Good day, I'm Bob the Necromancer, and today we're doing an unboxing. Hey folks, Johnny here. As you will have seen yesterday, we have some new exciting shiny goodies hitting the shelves very, very soon. And much like a necromancer himself, I'm going to do an unboxing. So, what are we talking about? Dungeon Adventures, new terrain crate range. Um, starting out with these two uh, inner box RPGs uh, adventures. So, they are 5th ed compatible and everything you need to run this uh, little campaign, little adventure is in one of these boxes. Um, I'll go through those in a moment, but then also accompanying these, um, you'll see later in the week, we've got a range of fantastic miniatures to go alongside. So we're talking heroes, villains, monsters, critters, beasts, you name it. All uh, fantastic new retail boxes for these uh, fantastic new products. Let's get into the unboxing. I'll start out with volume one. Clever place to start. This is the Necromancer's Lair. Really nice uh, boxes, much like our uh, Dungeon Saga boxes, made to look like a, uh, a book, so they look fantastic on a shelf. I'll read you the, uh, the fluff for the, this one. It says, this pack contains an exciting adventure to add to your fantasy role-playing campaign. Compatible with 5th edition, the world's most popular role-playing game, the players must investigate the disappearance of a local apprentice and rumours of unspeakable horrors. A two-sided adventure map, plastic scenery and a thrilling adventure in two acts awaits those that dare to enter into the necromancer's lair. So it's over 30 pieces of scenery as well. Let's crack this one open and have a look inside. So here you see the scenery. We've got one, two, three, four bags of scenery. I'll put that to one side for a moment. Any of you if you're familiar with our terrain crate range will know some of these pieces. Uh, for those that may be more into uh, to RPGs than, than war games, this will uh, this will be very new to you. Um, so we've got a portal, necromancers uh, tiles there, lots of little uh, critters, so a raven, spider webs, spider. Lots of fun little bits in that set. And then what we've got in this one. This is tombstones. Fantastic. And a great big one there. Some little ones. Creepy hand coming out of the ground. It's a nice big angel there. And uh, even a broken one as well. So you can imagine this will be really quite uh, aesthetic for when I show you the map you'll see uh, how these would lay out on the, uh, the surface section. <gasps> it's a trap! Lots of traps, snares, uh, sections that you'd have as, as trap doors, ladders, little hinges for, for the trap doors. Fantastic little set. And then finally, these ones here, we've got lots of terrifying torture devices. We've got a coffin, we've got a sarcophagus. What I love about this is you've got the dead skeleton there and you've also got the mummy there and they fit nicely in the uh, in the coffin. There's like an Iron Maiden there as well. All sorts of uh, terrifying torture devices. And of course, what's fantastic about this uh, range is it's all pre-built, pre-assembled, so you can get straight on with your RPG should you require. If you're if you're not paint or hobby minded, you can just get straight on with your adventure. Let's take a look at the map. Nice big map. I'll see if this picks up without a glare. But you've got. The there we go. Okay, there we go. Nice outdoor area there as you run the first few 
scenarios of uh, getting into the necromancer's lair and then if i flip this over there is the tiles for the inside the lair you've got the portal down this far end we'll try and uh, find you an image to pop up as well here if i can do um because that might have been a bit glary on the uh, the old cam camera uh, lighting. Let's have a look at the actual booklet. So it starts out with a little bit of fluff, a little bit about what it's uh, what the actual product is about, introducing the adventure, and then you've got. Um, questions for the dungeon master that uh, just hints that, that they might want to ask um, and then you're straight into act one and you've got all your uh, your map layout here and your different uh, levels of bad guys you just see that there all as I say all the stats in here are for fifth edition act two I won't spoil it all by uh, talking about the specific acts. I'll just give you a rough, rough overview of what there is, and then you've got different uh, descriptions for features and things like doors, hanging cages, those torture instruments that we we saw earlier. So there you go. Everything you need to get a nice, quick RPG. Uh, onto the table, all there in one box. Fantastic if you're maybe new to RPGs and just want a uh, a brief sort of quick go, um, or fantastic for experienced guys that just want to uh, try something different, immerse themselves in the Kings of War universe, in the Panafor universe. So that's that one. Let's move on to the volume two. This is the Secrets of the Wizard's Tower. Oh, I should read you the uh, blurb for this one as well first, shouldn't I? So, uh, this is must investigate a dismal and lonely tower on a my, on a windswept coast. The locals have heard arcane chanting on the wind, and the aging wizard who lives in the tower has become increasingly erratic. It's about Ronnie. A two-sided adventure mat, plastic scenery, and a thrilling adventure in two acts await those that dare to explore the secrets of the Wizard's Tower. He's writing my P45 as we speak now after that comment. Oh, upside down. So again, lots of scenery. Go through this first. Different scenery in this one, obviously all themed to this specific uh, adventure. So we've got lots of things you'd expect to find in a wizard's tower. You've got all this different furniture. It's even got a friendly little owl. Lots of barrels and boxes and bits of what was war gamers would call scatter terrain to block off corridors and things like that. Lots and lots of uh, different options there. Even including some creepy little skulls. And a nice little pack of rats. So there you have lots of nice scatter. And then you get two bags of all the furniture as well. So you can deck out your wizard's tower. into the map. This is the entrance into the Wizard's Tower by the looks of it. Hold that up there for you. And then on the other side we have the sec what look to be the levels going up into the tower, so you've got levels 1, 2, 3 and 4 and you work your way around like that so that would be uh, 
Really fun and thematic, working your way up the tower. And then into the little buckler. Again, nice bit of background, sort of setting the scene. Some uh, relevant questions that you might want to ask. Then into Act 1. Again, it's got your map laid out as to uh, where you might want to put all your scenery and all your furniture. And you've got your stats for each individual bad guy that you encounter as you're going through Act 1. There. Some fantastic uh, artwork in here as well. And then into Act 2, where you then get into your towers. And again, map there laid out where everything should be situated. And then all your features are listed here. Again, like the other book, as to what the item is, the description of them, a bit of information as to what they might do. And then again, some more stats for some more guys that you meet along the way. Really useful for your dungeon master, having everything laid out all nicely, uh, easy to get to. I imagine as well, having never DM myself, to be a really good book if you're maybe really into RPGs and you've never DM'd and you think, quite fancy having a go at DMing, it might be quite a nice uh, intro into uh, into that because as I say, it's, it's all laid out really nice and uh, nice and easily for you to work your way through step by step. So there we go, two fantastic sets. Um, as we say, RPG in a box, what, what can be better than that? Be able to just pick it up and go, absolutely fantastic sets. Um, and look out later in the week for these going up on pre-order along with some fantastic more products for your RPGs. Keep, keep tuning in throughout the week. We've got an interview with one of the creators of these stories later in the week. That's a really fascinating insight as to uh, how these were made. And then, as I say, coming uh, at the end of the week on Friday, we'll have uh, all of this available for pre-order. So keep watching. Cheers, guys.